Hi guys, welcome back and today I'm filming a product review. So the brand that I'm talking about is Earth Rhythm and before we get in, I want to give you a very quick backstory. So I ordered these items in December. So it's been a good four to five months since I have used them and seen how they work. And that is also the reason these products aren't new on their website. So I remember heavily gravitating towards Earth Rhythm and wanting to order badly from them because they have a bunch of positive claims and I was on a very conscious path to reducing the usage of plastic as I mentioned in my earlier video and I also wanted to start using products uh, that um, are animal cruelty free. I'm going to quickly pull out the website of Earth Rhythm so that I can give you a very brief idea about what the brand stands for. So um, they say that they are biodegradable they don't use any plastic, there are no sulfates and parabens, there's no artificial fragrance and most importantly they are cruelty free. Totally up my alley and I really wanted to support Indian brands. So I had ordered seven products from them and I don't have two of them with me but I will be putting up videos of me using them, demoing them on my Instagram or on the screen as and when I talk about them. So let's begin with the first product that I have by them. This is their Phytogel with Centella Asiatica and Horsetail Extract. And it says it's a calming, soothing, hydrating fluid for acne prone and sensitive skin. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my skin because it's important for this review. I have extremely sensitive skin, extremely, extremely, okay? And I do not play around with my skin. I am somebody who follows my skincare very, very religiously. I am way more into skincare than I am into makeup. And you will get to know about that as and when I keep posting more videos. But yes, this product claimed that it is for my skin type and I had to try it. So let's start with my experience with this product was like. Since this product mentions that it has Centella Asiatica and Horsetail Extract, it is important for me to tell you a little bit about it in case you don't know, because it's important that you know and are informed about the ingredients that you're putting on your skin. Our skin is precious and we cannot play around with it. So definitely you should be aware of what you're putting on your skin. I would definitely recommend that you do not skip this part. So if you're a skincare junkie, I'm sure you would be familiar with the term free radicals, but let me simplify it for you. Free radicals are basically unstable molecules that are present in our body and they are responsible for our aging and all the damage on our skin, uh, even cancer and a lot more bad things. So being unstable, um, they are always on a hunt for an electron to stable themselves again. So what they do is that they bind to our healthy cells and that is how damage occurs and that's how it starts showing on our skin. But if we consume antioxidants in the form of fruits or even as uh, tropical treatments, that is vitamin C and other things, uh, they will bind to antioxidants and not your healthy cells, preventing our cells from getting damaged. That is why they say always supplement yourself with antioxidant rich fruits and products. Um, so that is exactly what this has. Now we can't completely get rid of uh, free radicals, right? In fact, our body produces them, they're everywhere. But we can be precautious about it because this is what is going to cause damage to our skin and our body and our health. Now coming to the main ingredient of this product, Centella Asiatica. Now Centella Asiatica is also commonly known as Go to Cola and is a plant that is native to Asia. It is rich in antioxidants and amino acids and it is known to naturally decrease inflammation in our skin. That is how we get acne and other problems. So Centella Asiatica basically to wrap it up is rich in antioxidants, uh, rich in amino acids. So it is going to bind to your free radicals and uh, prevent uh, further damage to our cells. It's also known to fade acne scars. Now I'm just gonna quickly pull up what the website claims about this product, okay? What um, they claim about these ingredients and how they've used it. So the second one they've mentioned here is also on the bottle is um, horsetail extract and uh, horsetail extract again is a plant and uh, it has amazing antioxidant benefits for anti-aging and again uh, fights inflammation it has benefits for acne and irritation it can also help uh, heal rashes burns and wounds 
thanks to its antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. So these are the two things that I also was aware of uh, about the ingredients. Uh, but the third thing that is mentioned over here is chlorophyll, which is not mentioned on the packaging. Now chlorophyll, they say, helps create an environment. This is again from the website. They say it helps create an environment that is inhospitable to the growth of germs. As pimples are basically made of dead skin cells, uh, oil and bacteria, chlorophyll helps fight breakouts and also helps reduce inflammation. Chlorophyll is also extremely rich in antioxidants, which is why it cleanses the blood and reduces the occurrence of breakouts. So now we know these are the main three things in this product, okay? So now let's get to the packaging of it. So this is a nice glass bottle, comes with a cap here and a pump here, which I really like. And is this green fluid uh, sort of texture. And the fragrance of it, it doesn't have a nasty fragrance, it doesn't have a nice fragrance, it just has a... It just smells a bit medicinal. And I'm just gonna show you how it looks like, okay? Okay, imagine aloe vera gel, that's how it is my experience with it now okay so wait, let me just quickly not waste the product so i got this product just uh, thinking uh, i would be using it like a, like a hydrating moisturizer so i used it for a good four months and i will not say that i saw any major changes uh, attributing to this particular product um, so how I started using this product was that after I uh, have done something irritable to my skin that is um, you you know created looks on Instagram uh, you know for a whole day and uh, worn makeup for an entire day or uh, after I thread or after I shave my face after that is when I will use this product. My opinion might be different from other people because I remember reading reviews about it and people were raving about this product and uh, I definitely did not see a lot happening uh, because of this product. I have uh, products that have worked for me miraculously and I know it's that product because that's the only product that I change but with this not so much. If you know what a hydrating product is, that is what this will do. Um, it will not, um, it, it gets absorbed into your skin pretty quickly and it feels tacky to the touch. You do feel like your skin is hydrated. So yeah, I don't think this is something that you need in your life, definitely. Um, I might be wrong. Uh, I mean, everybody has different experiences with their, with different products. But yes, definitely, uh, I have used that much. You can definitely use this if you have a sensitive, oily, acne-prone skin because I did not break out because of this, uh, definitely. But also, I did not uh, see some major positive changes because of this this has 50 grams of product in it and retails for rupees 725 i'm just reading it from here sorry 749 but you can definitely find this on discount for easily i would say uh 500 um and even right now they have a store wide uh, sale going on so if in case you're interested this is a good time to grab it moving on to the next thing this is their clean sponge and comes under their zero waste tools so i really wanted to get my hands on this because i use uh, i do double cleansing uh, that is definitely something i will talk about in the future because that is something i feel everybody with sensitive skin should do because it is life changing so i use a i used to use cotton pads um, you know to remove uh, my eye makeup or anything so i thought it was better to actually invest in a in something like this um, that would reduce wastage now this is something that works pretty well for me and uh, yeah it just basically is something that can replace your cotton pads so my experience with this is that it definitely removes your makeup it is not harsh on your skin which is something that i like and yeah it is like super soft okay uh, now the thing is that um, because it's a makeup remover sponge it is going to absorb all the makeup right so it is um, something that um, you have to work hard at to clean because um, it absorbs all that gunk so yeah i think that's the only thing that you have to keep in mind uh, cleaning 
it uh, well with uh, what I do is I take my cleanser whatever face cleanser I'm using and I will take a little tiny drop and I will uh, put water on it and I will scrunch it and make sure that it's clean and I keep it for drying in my bathroom until my next use definitely something that you can invest in now the third thing that I have here is the lip and cheek tint and uh, this is a product that I was the most excited about so this is in the variant cherry now I am huge on lip tints okay I use more uh, tints than I use lipsticks in fact it is the most used uh, makeup product by me so um, it might be personal again uh, but my definition of a lip tint is um, definitely something that just tames your lips and um, you know um, stays there for the entire day or at least a longer period of time um, now this i wouldn't uh, categorize as a lip and cheek tint okay i would i would think of this as a as a lip oil with color because um it, it has a bunch of oils in there. Uh, it is um, definitely more oily than it is a stain. So I'm just going to quickly show you uh, the texture of it. So that is how that looks. One thing that had happened with this is that this cap had come out. So definitely the packaging is uh, pretty flimsy. I hope you can see the oiliness of it coming through on the camera, on the screen, sorry. And uh, that is how it looks if you blend it out. And I am used to tints that are more uh, pigmented. So if that's just honestly just a flush of color so yeah if you are just a beginner looking for a very subtle color then i think like this would be a good option for you but if you are somebody who's used to uh, proper stains properly um, you know pigmented stains then i don't think this is see that's like almost not even um, showing if you want like a color like this that looks extremely natural you know in fact that natural that it like sometimes won't even show then yeah this is something that you can go for i am personally used to tints that are way more pigmented so this is definitely something that i don't gravitate towards and um yeah i mean that is why i haven't really used it i've honestly just you know used it a couple of times so i would say if you're somebody who likes an ultra ultra natural finish then you can definitely go for this now, if you're also somebody who doesn't like um the appearance of cracked um lips and uh, things like that then again this is something that will work well for you because this has a bunch of oils in there as i mentioned so this is not going to uh, you know settle into your fine, li fine lines this is going to hydrate your lips this retails for rupees 4.99 for 5 grams of product. The next thing that I got again uh, was is the the tinted lippy um, in Ahoy there, and it also has um, SPF 30. So I was very excited about that because even our lips need SPF. So that is the color. Okay, it is like a burnt orange color and this I really like so this formula is amazing okay so I was very pleasantly surprised with this okay because as you rub your finger in the pot it turns into this it feels like this oil and uh, that's the color it's like an orange burnt orange color looks very pretty on the cheeks and on the lips and uh, it stays for a good like uh, four to five hours and even after the color fades your lips will feel hydrated is why i really like it and the spf as i mentioned is a big win-win for me and this retails for rupees 650 but i'm sure again you can find it on a good discount so the next thing that I have here is also something that I really really love. This is their mango papaya body yogurt with probiotic technology. So I am someone who always uses thick creams like body butters and body lotions and all of that but I really wanted to give this a try because it claims that it has um, one second I'm gonna pull out the information from the website what it says is in it is that it has aloe vera juice we all know that's known for moisturizing the skin removing dead cells improves uh, skin elasticity reduces blemishes along with reducing fine lines and dark spots it's soothing and reduces 
inflammation and is also used in sunburn treatments that is one of the main ingredients in here and then there is hyaluronic acid and this is the reason really wanted to try this product because hyaluronic acid uh, is known to retain moisture in our skin and then there is something very interesting here which is lactococcus ferment lysate and i did read up, uh, read up about it and um, it is known to improve and encourage the skin's natural defense for maximum hydration again it reduces inflammation scars redness wrinkles and fine lines so i wanted to have this in my collection because i wanted something for the summers something that doesn't feel too sticky and just fe but still feels uh, like my skin is uh, not dry at all and this delivers and okay now i'm going to come to the packaging and the product inside so this is again a proper glass jar which i love okay uh, no wastage and it has this tin and that's the product in there and it smells amazing oh my god and also like mango papaya like i was so fascinated i i knew that i had to get my hands on this and i love this so yeah if you're somebody who likes to use things that don't feel too sticky on your skin this is something that you should definitely try and this retails for rupees 549 but as i'm seeing it on the website right now it is for rupees 412 and i think it's a great buy and it will last you a pretty long time i mean i got this in december and i still have it okay so the next two things that i got from earth rhythm i don't have them with me here but i'm gonna pop in uh, a video of me demoing it on my instagram when i had used them so i had gotten the vanilla cream butter soap and it sounded so interesting and it looked like uh, a cupcake okay when i opened it um, even before i bought it i was so fascinated with it okay it was like uh, it was such a unique texture something like i'd never seen before and it said vanilla and um, i like my uh, bath products to smell really nice and i want them to linger the smell to linger on me for at least some time after i've taken my shower it again comes in a packaging exactly like this but it's longer and uh, it has the same like metal like a uh, tin cap and when i opened it i was so like whoa this is amazing okay because it had like that whole like cupcake top this is something that is going to lather amazingly well on you okay but the fragrance was very disappointing it is the slightest hint of vanilla okay it is not proper pure vanilla and as you're taking a shower the fragrance just fades off like it's that subtle and if you're into that like definitely you can get this okay i did i do remember seeing that they had other variants like madras kapi and stuff and i really wanted to try that so if you're somebody who wants that super clean feeling and don't uh, like fragrance in your bath products then this is definitely for you uh, it is not a bad product for sure okay but uh, i like my um, shower products to smell really nice because my body is the only place where i can use a uh, fragrance things and i like to smell nice all the time so yes to sum it up it's a super fun product the texture is exactly like whipped cream and uh, it lathers really well you will feel like your skin is super clean after using it and uh, but yeah the fragrance will not linger and the fragrance is definitely disappointing so the last thing that i had gotten was the murumuru butter shampoo bar with along with the tin case i got this because uh, it uh, said it is for curly hair now i have done my hair right now my original hair is very curly and uh, i also got it because of the tin case and i thought it would be really easy to travel with it now being a soap you wouldn't think that it would be uh, it would clean your scalp that well but it does how i used it was that i uh, took some on my hand with water and then i just like uh, cleansed my scalp with it um and like of course like took it down like my hair uh, my hair did look really smooth that's what murumuru butter is known for to moisturize so yeah my hair did feel like it had some moisture locked in there my curls were definitely looking um, nice curls were separated for sure but i did feel like it was weighing down my hair a little bit not too much not uh, horribly too much um so yeah i did feel like my hair uh, 
was moisturized moisture was locked in uh, my scalp also felt clean for sure uh, the first two days and uh, yeah that's about it uh, the tin case actually was really nice i really liked it um you it, it'll be easy for you to travel with it and that retails for rupees 4.99 so yeah those were all the products that i have tried from earth rhythm and i hope you got a pretty decent insight into these products do let me know if you have used any of these products and how your experience with them was like so that's it for this video guys uh, i hope it was informative and you got a decent idea about the products i have a lot of content planned for the future so definitely hit the subscribe button you don't want to miss out and uh, follow me in my instagram if you don't already don't forget to like this video if you at all think this was a decent video and uh, i'm gonna see you in my next video bye